Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and what we're doing is we're playing Attrition, and we're actually going to be going for a flawless sniping gameplay, guys. So as we get into this, you're going to see, uh, you can see my class at the minute. I'm actually using the DMR sniper with the ACOG and the suppressor cloak art grenades, and I'm using the enhancing the kit and the waterfall transmitter as well. So we can see where those grunts are, where those spectres are. So it'll help me to sort of do find the human players from the grunts and spectres as you can see as I get up here boom what you doing bro you've just ruined me start come on I'm making a video here what what but yeah um right so ignoring that you can see basically the start that I wanted to have did not happen at all now you can actually see a lot of the team at the minute, they <laughs> actually all have gone for up here, which I thought would be quite nice on video to show you guys, because it's quite hilarious as well. But, yeah, I'm actually going to jump down because I'm not going to be staying on a tower for the whole of this video, because otherwise I'd be boring the crap out of you. And I have no idea why I'm putting an accent on right now. <clears throat> Even I don't know. But you can see me trying to get this guy with the pistol and he just a little fucking just warm guy. There you go. God. Learn to die, bro. Okay. Right, so jokes aside, guard as guard. What? I meant jokes aside, guys, as we're getting into this gameplay, you can see me taking out that human player right now. And you can see there's another human player across the ground here, and my pistol cannot reach that far. No! Okay. So yeah, we're going to bring out the sniper guys, and we're basically going to get into it at a minute. Now, as everybody does know, the DMR, it is a two-shot kill, so this guy, if he's got any sort of crossers, you can see he's actually hit markering me, but I end up getting the kill from that one as well. I did get pretty lucky though, because I was red markered, but he was spraying me with an assault rifle from that range, so he should be able to hit me at the same time. As you can see, I've, after I've taken out these grunts and these spectres, that I've got my titan ready to call in at the minute. But I'm just going to hitch a ride here and get straight up onto this roof. Now, this is one of the main target areas for pilots to go because they want to take the towers, as in they want to take the turrets. Because the turrets will help towards your streaks and stuff like that. And it will help towards challenges, things like uh, your attrition points and stuff like that. Okay guys, so basically what you're going to see throughout this video is I was actually going for the 150 DMR kills. Unfortunately it turns out that it, recently it's going to be useless for me to do that because I've had to start from scratch. That's right guys, from level 1. So I'll be able to also do your videos on full tutorials on how to complete each level as well. So those videos will be coming soon and I will have a faster new PC coming on its way. So yeah, the quality is going to be pretty much better, it's going to be faster. Well, the quality is insane as well at the minute, so as you can see there, how clear is this? Okay. Now what I'm going to try and figure out for you guys as well is I'm going to try and figure out the little webcam thing so you can actually see the person that's talking as well. Um, I'm going to try and purchase one of those for you. Don't forget guys and girls, I do have a giveaway at 250 subscribers, currently on 225. There is a video up there which is basically explaining how I'm going to do it which is basically going to involve the video that I'm going to upload and when you upload this video all you need to do is like, subscribe and comment. Uh, if you're not a subscriber you will not win the prize. Um, the idea is to reward the subscribers not just give it away to a random person. Although it is going to be a random person but from the subscribers list. Simple as that. At the end of the day guys, it's a freebie, so yeah, um, if you want a HD camera, it's yours, but you've got to win it firm and square. And as you can see, I take out this human player here in his backside! Yeah, buddy! So 
this is, as I say guys, it is a flawless sniping gameplay. Um, obviously I'm not going to be able to show you one shot kills, as you can see it takes a lot just to take a spectra, because the DML sniper is just not powerful enough to do so. Um, but you can see if you do spray like that for example, you can pick up the human kills nice and easy, as long as they're not jumping around everywhere, it's not a good situation gun for that as well. So I highly recommend this gun if you're just trying to get things like grunts and spectras, obviously you're going to pick up a few human kills, but um, you're not going to get many flawless gameplays with this gun, nothing that's any, really any good to be honest with you. Now you can see I've actually got two titans on me at the minute, now Burning Man there's two against one, my shield's down at the minute, boom boom boom, and there's one, there's two, okay. Yeah buddies, I'm going to take you out before you even get the chance to take me out. So that was a two on one situation and now we've got more Titans up. Where were you a minute ago guys? Come on! I needed help and there was nobody there. Right, so you can see I'm actually hovering about on this roof at the minute. Now you notice like the grassy bits on the roof, they're actually very good for cover, especially when you're cloaking and stuff like that. So what you can basically do is just, just you can just walk around the grassy bits because not many people are going to notice you in the bushes like that, for example. You can just see me Rock walking past it. Um, because I've actually got the turret up, the turret actually just picked me up a human kill there, so that's the advantages of having things like turrets. You can see from far distance me trying to take that spectre out there, three shot hits and it's still never got taken out so it's pretty useless for that sort of stuff as well. So this is just sort of to show you exactly how. Nice little picture of a Chinese girl I believe it is over there, I think it is. Refresh, yeah refresh it says, refresh. Be some sort of advertisement but I've never heard of it. Maybe it's a drink. You'd think refresh, drink, water, food, chocolate, sex. What? Right, so now that I've done babbling on for you guys, I'm actually jumping up onto here because they're get starting to get a lot of Titans up at the minute, so I just want to be careful on where I'm going. Now, it is a flawless gameplay, but the reason that this is a bit more special as well for you guys, as you can see, you get hit marked there. It's not a camping flawless gameplay. Any douchebag with a sniper silence can basically camp in a corner and never be found <laughs> throughout the whole game. That's not. That's just like a lame way of getting a flawless gameplay to be honest with you. Yeah, you camp in a corner, you move to another corner, you camp again. As you can see here, I'm actually using this little ridge as a bit of cover. I'm trying to take out this guy, but this sniper is so bad that you can basically see it. As soon as they start on jumping, it just it can't hit that well. I can see he's actually there, by the way. There you go, we pick up the kill. It only took me, what, a few attempts. But yeah, I hate this gun. Um, it's all right when people are stood still and prone and everything like that, but when they're jumping around everywhere, this sniper, the sniper really needs to be a one-shot kill. If it was a one-shot kill, it'd be a beast of a weapon. Because you just basically shoot, kill, shoot, kill. Simple as that. Fair enough if you get a hit marker every now and then, but the sort of uh, it's kind of ridiculous the way they've set the sniper on that one with the DMR because it's got a huge disadvantage. It's quite personally what I found near enough every other weapon in the game. And that's including secondaries. So yeah guys, if you are using the DMR sniper, which you are going to be at some point because it is a challenge, it's not the easiest to be. So what you want to be is you don't want to be on roofs, you don't want to be far range, you actually want to be close range to completing those challenges guys because it's going to be so much easier for you to pick up the kills. Fair enough you might die a few times but you're going to have to take that on the chin and just survive with it. Um, so you can see we actually picked up the victory at the minute and we're just getting through. Now you can see on the minimap where all the titans are and everything. I'm just trying to be a little bit careful now. I'm renowned for basically pushing me luck at the end of games, uh, basically messing about and stuff like that. You can see me getting pretty much stuck there. I did not intend that at all, and I was trying to wall bounce off that, but 
That kind of failed as well. As I'm messing around here. Cut them off before they get to the Come on! Even I never struggle this much. <laughs> okay, so there you go. We got a nice clear view and everything like that. So we can see if anybody's up to the roof. Now, I'm just going to use this as really just somewhere to look at. <laughs> there you go. There's one. And the other one. I actually think that's a human player, but if you watch it disappears, so I presume that's somebody that got killed. And there you go, 63 attrition points with the DMR Sniper, 8 kills, 2 Titan kills, 23 minion and 0 deaths guys.